Saturday today I'm going to be working on my machine I actually got water in the system and it was because I got water in my uh, transfer tank so and that was because I didn't put one of these on fuel filter when I bought the tank that was my my fault I was like well I'll do it later of course it's two years later <laughs> never done it still so anyway so that was my fault but I'm gonna install one of those on there today I'm gonna take the fuel out of my machine and put it back in the tank I know it's kind of weird right but anyway uh, the theory is that this will block the water and then I got some uh, fuel additive for diesel I'm gonna put that in there and run it and I'm also going to change out the filter on the machine and I feel like doing all those things will eliminate the water issue I mean my machine will still run it's just uh you'll be going along and all of a sudden it goes duh, 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 and just dies so you're like well crap so anyway uh I'm going to deal with that today and hopefully fix it so let's get started Little kit to put your filter on. Let's see if they gave me enough Teflon tape. They gave me a little roll. I doubt it would be enough. Dun, 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 dun. That didn't do any good. Still scratched it. Here I was thinking I did a good thing by putting the rag on it. Well, oh well. Let's see, where's my thing at? Right here. Now I'm gonna 90 it. So I came up, now I'm gonna do 90. Oh, that's tight now. Hmm. There we go. Okay, that'll work. Not like it's pressurized. Okay, where's my other fitting?
that's why it comes with these ends in here. There we go. Really? Doesn't want to not roll. I think I bought some more Teflon tape. That wouldn't have been enough in there. Man, <laughs> this has in and out. I didn't even look at that, but it's actually uh, on there right. Lucky me, huh? <laughs> Lucky. Okay. All right, now put the holes back on. Good thing the hole fits in itself, huh? All right, okay, that's done. All right, I bought this little, uh, what is called is a super siphon. I don't know how well you can see that, but anyway, we'll see how good that's gonna work. It needs to have a weight on it. When you stick it in there, it sinks. Well, that's a pain in the butt. Stick it in and get down there to it. All right, let me figure this out. Okay, so that hand pump thing I was showing you, that just ain't gonna work. It needs to have some weight on the hose or a more rigid hose so it goes down in there. It's like stiff when it goes in there so that it can uh, go right into the fuel, not curl up, that's what it was doing. Anyway, not working, so I'm going to just go ahead and put my diesel clear treatment in here and just run it. This stuff is good for 80 gallons, and there's only like 20 gallons in here, so I'm going to put the whole thing in there just so it's strong. Get rid of it all. All right, now I'm going to change the fuel filter, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. All right, well, I got it broke loose enough to where I think.
Okay, let's get the box here. All right, see it has that big washer on the bottom too. That's good. That big washer is right here. Screwdriver. Well, look how dirty that is. Can you see that? Ugh. Sure. Clean this side of it now. Boy, that's dirty. Look how dirty that is. Golly. Get the little ring, put some fuel on it. Okay, that's good. Uh, your ring. Get it good and wet. I like how it's got a blue, you got a blue ring exactly where the o ring goes. Probably left over from the o ring, but it still looks like a marker. Whoops, whoopsie. Okay, that's good. Oh, clipper blowing away. Hey -ya! Go to the garbage. Garbage. Got a hole in it? Of course not. Does now. Ah. Okay. You know what I need to do? Get that wet right there. There's no ring on the filter. I'm going to get that wet. Okay, see if we can get this thing back on there. Okay, that's back on there. All right, crank it back up. And the battery on. Turn the key on and let the little pump fill it up. This is what it says to do. You don't have to fill it up anymore before you put the bow on there. I guess their theory is is that uh, you put fuel in there and then go put it on, you'll get dirt in the fuel. But my theory is <laughs> you can put dirt in the filter before you put it on, you know? Wow, that did fill it right up though. Okay, let's see if it'll start. Okay, no leaks on that, which is good. Show you uh, 
what I was talking about up here with the in and the out. See how you can see the in right there? The side says out. So I got lucky on that. <laughs> uh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, hopefully I'll fix it. I'll find out Monday when I go run it, do some more clearing. Alrighty. That's going to end this video right here. Thanks for watching. Till the next one.